Hey Sanctuary family, I'm Keith Turner and I'm grateful to be able to share this word of encouragement with all of you. Recently, Pastor started a series, Life in the Waiting Room, and as he gave some reflection questions, it made me ponder on this thought. How important is community while we're in the waiting room? I thought about that and I thought about going to an amusement park. I love roller coasters. I'm a roller coaster fanatic. My wife is scared of heights, but still gets on all the roller coasters with me. One thing I hate about roller coasters is the wait. I know that it's inevitable. When you go to an amusement park, at the end of the day, you're gonna have to wait. But how much better is the wait when you have someone there to connect with, someone to laugh, joke with? The time seems to go by a little bit faster. And just made me think about what about when we're waiting on God? It's not easy, it's difficult, but how much better and how much more would you be encouraged if you had community while you wait? So I wanna encourage you that being in community does two things for you while you're in the wait. The first thing that it does is it gives you encouragement. It's encouraging to know that someone is waiting on God too. It's encouraging to know that someone is there for you to pray for you, pray with you while you're experiencing the wait. But I think one of my favorite things that being in the waiting room but having community does is it gives you another opportunity to see God at work. Listen to what Henry Nouwen says in his book, Making All Things New, about community. In true community, we are windows constantly offering each other new views on the mystery of God's presence in our lives. That in other words, when we're in community, we get to witness more of God. We get to witness God move in the lives of others and we get to hear God speak to us. I wanna share a story with you. A few weeks ago, uh, my wife and I were with some friends and we were all talking about God's providence. I talked about how I was struggling with seeing God provide. I've seen him provide before, uh, but yet I was struggling with it a little bit. And some of my friends were sharing the same sentiments. That same week, one of my friends told me that God provided for him in an unexpected way. And in that moment, God began to speak to me that if he can provide for my friend, he could do the same for me. And I was encouraged because I was in community with another brother in Christ. So I wanna encourage, encourage everyone. Isolation is not God's design for you. There's times when isolation is good, where you just need to get alone with God and spend time with him, and that's great. But God desires for us to be in community with one another. If you look at the very first church in Acts chapter 2, that was a church who went through the highways and byways. Yes, they were preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, but they were communing together. They were breaking bread together. And that's what I encourage you to do. Because community goes beyond COVID-19. It goes beyond everything that's happening now. It's a very present word that we all need. So here's my encouragement to you. How can you have community in your life even while we're in a pandemic? Or how can you continue to commune with people while it is you may not be able to see them? I encourage you to reach out to someone just to see how they're doing. Let them know that you're praying for them. And I guarantee you, we will continue to see God move in community. God bless you. Take care.